Hello everyone, my name is Anand and welcome back to my channel. In the previous video, we talked about creating new account in Google Tag Manager, why you need a Google Tag Manager account and how to create new containers using a new account. In today's video, let's talk about creating custom triggers. Now the most common trigger that people always use is the all pages trigger. Basically, when you want to execute all your tags on all the pages of the website, you will use all pages trigger. But what about executing certain scripts on only certain pages of your website? To create a custom trigger, click on the triggers tab, hit new, and then let's say for example, you want to uh, execute a tag only on thank you pages. So we will name it as thank you and then under trigger configuration you will choose page view and then instead of all page views you will select some page views and rather than choosing page host name select page URL and then it needs to contain slash thank dash you so basically this trigger will only um, be fired when certain page views are loaded and the page URL needs to contain slash thank you only then the tag will be fired hit save and then submit and that's it that's how you create a custom trigger now there are a couple of different options um, if you click on new trigger and then let's say we name it as custom triggers under trigger configuration, you will see DOM ready, that is document object model ready, page view, if a particular window is loaded. Um, now these are some advanced functions like, let's say you click a button or an element on the page, uh, if you clicked on a link, and based on certain user engagement uh, and any other custom events. So you can choose from any of these options uh, to create custom triggers. Um, and that's the power of Google Tag Manager. A lot of times uh, when we are talking about, you know, how do we track conversions and how do we measure advanced analytics, um, in those cases, you know, you will need custom triggers because you want to keep track of all the different activities taking page on the website. For example, how many people clicked on a link and how many people clicked on your register button and um, how much scroll depth happened on that page you know you can do all kind of stuff using um, these custom triggers so that's it for today's you know custom triggers tutorial let me know if you want to learn anything else and i am looking forward to your feedback and please do subscribe to my channel see you next time thank you